Hi everyone, I'm Juliana with La Lilo, and in this video today, I'm going to explain to you some really simple things that you can do to support your students uh, in continuing their reading learning at home if they can't be at school, and also um, ways that you as a teacher can keep track of what they've been doing at home and even direct their learning. So here I have my La Lilo teacher dashboard. At the top, I have some quick stats about what my students have been doing recently. On the left, I can see the amount of time they've uh, spent on the Lilo at school and at home. Right now, the at home number is zero, but the more that students log on with their individual student codes at home and are working on the Lilo, you should see this number going up. And then I see lessons that my students are still learning and lessons that have been mastered in the past week. Down below, I can get a little bit more information on each of my students and what they've been working on. Um, so I can see which lessons have been mastered recently and then which ones kids are still working on. The little white triangles at the bottom of a lesson indicate the next lessons that are coming up for that student. So uh, for example, Kara, I can see here that she'll be working on these lessons that are orange the next time that she logs in. If I want a little bit more information about what she has done on each of these lessons, I can click into a lesson tile and it will tell me exactly the questions that she was asked and what she answered so I can get a little bit more information about what it is that she's struggling with. Uh, she'll continue to circle back to these lessons that are orange until she masters them um, while also going back and forth between some different lessons so that she doesn't get the same content again and again and again. If you don't have La Lilo Premium, your students will follow our lesson sequence, which you can find in your resources tab by clicking on scope and sequence. Um, and every single student lesson is free for your students. Um, they'll just work through them in the order of our lesson progression. If you do have La Lilo Premium, you can actually create assignments for your students that match what you know their needs are or whatever it is you've been working on in class. So I'm gonna go ahead and click on the assignments button. And here you can see that I've already made um, some assignments for my students. I can click in on each assignment to get some more information on which students have completed them and what their percentage of mastery is. And I can even click on errors to see the detailed mistakes that my students have made in that lesson. So this helps me to know if I want to reassign that lesson for that student. I'm gonna go back to assignments and I'm gonna show you how to add an assignment. So you're gonna click add an assignment um, you're going to pick the group of kids that you want to add the same assignment for and hit next. Um, and then this group of kids is working on sight words. So I'm going to choose the ones that I know they're struggling with that we've been working on recently. And then I also am going to assign some comprehension text for them. So you can make as many uh, lesson assignments as you want in one go, and then all of the lessons that you've assigned will show up here on the right side. Just hit assign, and then you'll see all of the lessons that you've assigned in this list. And again, you can click into them to keep track of who's completed them, what their score was, and to get more information on their individual errors. So I hope that this is helpful. Please feel free to reach out to us with any questions that you have. You can always click on this chat box in the lower right hand corner of your dashboard and one of our team members will get back to you as soon as possible. Thanks for watching.